Okay guys, someone asked me how exactly do you transfer uh, your crypto. Some people ask me how do you cut and paste. So in this video, I'll be going step by step how you uh, would transfer your crypto um, using the Voyager. Now I personally have cash, um, not cash app, uh, Coinbase. So I transferred it to Coinbase. But it would just be the same exact way you would uh, want to get your uh, wallet code that you would cut and paste. Now, I'm, I had already transferred all of my crypto before, but I do have, it does show that uh, with Shiba. Um, so that one, I can use this one as an example. I will have to block some out. Um, but anyway, let's get into it so first off they have the at the bottom you can see recovery claims account so once you go to claims it shows the amount that you had as of july 5th and then the initial recovery amount so at the bottom of the screen left hand corner i would click recovery now once again for the current market value all of mine I already transferred over but i will be able to show you how do you transfer it? So if you see, I have Shiba, the qu quantity, actually it's zero dollars or it's it's a weird situation here. But what you would do is you would tap on the quantity amount. Yeah, and then you will go before you continue uh, double check. It's just giving you the instruction that you have entered the correct address in the receiving wallet that you have confirmed that your receiving wallet is compatible with blah, blah, blah. That you are aware and responsible. So this is just letting you um, kind of know, make sure you enter the correct address, um, blah, blah, blah. So then we would click continue. Now at the top, you can have, it says to tap, tap to paste Shiba address. And they also have the barcode. Now, I haven't used the barcode. I would just probably use the cut and paste from the wallet. So remember this. when And at the bottom, as you can see under estimated quantity, you can automatically click send all. Now, of course, the, the ones available, I have zero because I already moved it, but it still will let me kind of do the whole um, process. Or the available amount you can enter at the top. So now what I'm about to do, and remember that whatever coin you have, you have to have the wallet for that particular coin. So Shiba has an individual wallet. Bitcoin has an individual a wallet. Ethereum has an independent wallet. So that case. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my Coinbase. Once I go into your Coinbase, you see buy, send, receive, scan. What you are going to end up clicking on is receive. Once you click on receive on Coinbase, this is this is what mine show up. But the coin you put and by the way, your uh, the code, uh, the wallet code address would end up showing. This would be the wallet code address. You know, G. I have to probably blank that out. Um, blah 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 and they had the barcode one but I would just stick to cut and paste in the wallet you hear you can hit copy and now it's already copied to your clip clip clipboard or what you can end up doing they might end up let you like if you press down it might allow you to hit copy um, it's up to you but at the top it says right now it's on stellar we need it to be in Shiba so if you hit this um, right next to it, it's like this arrow down, you can hit that. And then all the particular ones, so we need Shiba. Now, if you don't see it up here, you can um, end up typing the coin that you particularly have. So say you had that one, you can click that. And then once you end up doing that, it'll show you the address. So some people might have to push it down, um, like push on your phone and then highlight it cop and hit copy or you can just hit for mine it's just a button right here i can say copy and it's copy to my clipboard so then let's end up going hitting this and even if you don't have the coin on your coin base it'll still have a wallet for it 
So here's the Shiba, that the one I have, the Shiba wallet with the Shiba address. So then from here, what you're gonna do is hit copy. So we copied. Now what you do from there is I'm going to go back to the Voyager account. And remember, it says uh, tap to paste. So I just tap it, boom. So I tapped it and then the barcode is already, um, the address is already entered in. Now what you can go back, you can just kinda, I just kinda taught you to toggle the flip and make sure like the first numbers are the same and the last numbers is the same as well. Um, once you do that, then you will hit, uh, you will swipe to send. It just saying confirming this. So you hit confirm. Now the code was sent to my phone. I'm going to enter this code that was sent to my phone and then hit submit transfer. Now mine says over available balance. That's typically because I technically don't have it um, in there, but then it would end up sending something to your email to confirm their amount. I really don't have this in there. I'm not exactly even sure why they allowed me to show it, but I was just giving you guys to show you how um, you would end up going about it. And you would end up, the last step, you would end up seeing a uh, email to confirm the amount. Now I'm just going to show you when that email comes, what would it look something like this? So what will happen is you'll see something as, oh, um, this email, uh, and then you would just hit confirm. And then what happened is it should say confirm. This one won't because I already did it. So, but once you hit that, it should say withdraw confirmed. If not, if you see this verification error, that means it didn't go through. But the reason, for example, my, I really don't, if, um, have it in there i was just trying to show you how you do the um process of transfer in it over i hope this video was helpful i tried the best that i can to um explain the steps and how you would transfer it over i do want to make it clear they don't allow you to sell it i believe after the 30 days they're supposed to um, if you didn't transfer it over, I think they're supposed to, um, maybe send you the money in cash or check. I'm not exactly sure, but I wouldn't rely on that. I would try to transfer the money, um, to a different wallet as well. Like I said, for me, I have Coinbase. That's how I transferred it over. Um, if you have a cold wallet or something like that, you can just do the same thing. Just make sure you copy and then you just tap it and cut and paste. Now, I might do a video of to see the so you can do the steps uh, on the desktop as well. If you were having problems with doing it on your phone. So I might end up doing a step by step. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions um, or uh, concerns, just let me know. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel.